Yep, that's me. Good morning, y'all, and welcome back to my channel. I know I look a hot mess, and y'all are probably like, what's going on? But this is like the realistic me, okay? I just took my knotless braids out that you guys seen me get in my previous video, which was a maintenance vlog. You all will see the trip before this, but I also filmed a maintenance vlog. I just set the house alarm, but I also filmed a maintenance vlog, so I will link it here so you guys can watch that on your time for your viewing pleasure for context of why I look like this, okay? So if this is a new video for you, you've never found my channel before, I apologize, but not really because that's just, you know, my name is Serena, hence the intro, hence the channel name, that's Serena. You get it corner, I know, but that's just how we are here. Period. Okay. All right. Cool. So what's going to happen is I won't look like this for much too long. It is 9.02 in the morning. Y'all see that? It's 9.02 in the morning. I just got to my dad's house, hence the bathroom. Um, yeah, he has like a luxury living. Okay. And I'm here for it. Um, I have my tripod in here. I have a uh, two videos that I have to film, but I'm here to do laundry. That's really what I'm here for. But I was like, while I'm here, I should just maximize all my time and get two things out the row quality, right? So I'm starting an influencer vlog so you guys can see the behind the scenes of what goes into me getting said content, okay? So first things first, I'm the realist, no. But first things first, I need to wash my hair because these videos, they don't necessarily, well, I'll be in the frame, but the majority of the video is to focus on the product. So I'll be holding the product in front of my face. And as you can see, everything else will be blurred if my hand is here. But there will be times where I'll be moving my hand. So I need to look somewhat put together. I did get a glueless wig um, that I will be putting on once I get out of the shower because like I said, I'm at my dad's house. This is my boyfriend's jacket. That's why it's so big. But um, I did grab that from the house. So the house as in my house that I live at. <laughs> um, and so I will be putting that on for y'all. I don't have to make a video about the glueless wig. So I'm not going to. We just need to, you know, like I said, maximize our time and not do too much. Also, my nails look a mess. But don't worry because I brought press on from the house too. Okay, the girl is prepared. Y'all gonna be like, how did you get all this done that quick? I'm gonna show you. So the first video I have to film is um the first video that I have to film is a uh face mask video, and the second video I have to film is lotion. So my dad has like this garden tub here, so I'm gonna make it like an effect like I just took a, a bubble bath and you want to moisturize your, your body. Woo, woo, woo. And it's, um, I'm going to show the lotion and I'm going to apply it. And y'all will see. Y'all will see. I'm just giving y'all the rundown of what's going on in my head. On the skincare video, it's going to be like, I'm in the robe. Just got the shower hair wrapped up because I am actually washing my hair. But I'm going to um, wrap it up in the towel. So it's giving hotel-esque. As you can tell, the vibe is giving that. So it'll give that kind of vibe and then I'll apply the um, face mask slowly, then show my whole face, then show me rinsing it off and bada bing bada bam. So that is how I'm going to apply it. Both videos, I'm going to try to get the brands to agree with me to collaborate the post on Instagram. If you don't know what that means, it's basically when you go to somebody's page and you see two profile pictures at the top of the reel for the person that made it and the creator i mean the person that made it in the brand that way i'm showing on the brand's page as well as they're showing on my page but um yeah so that's my plan um one brand already agreed and that was the skincare one they already agreed that they would do that it's the other one that i'm not sure about so what i'm going to do for them is snatch a picture from their website and collab because most of the brands just care about if it flows with the theme of their um instagram currently so i'm just going to take one of their pictures from on the website and put it as my cover photo instead of my face that way it's not just smack dab me just standing there on their um profile but because i'm going to be using the product i'm not going to have it front face on my um profile i'm going to have it um just post it straight to reels, not on my actual feed. If y'all know what I'm talking about, 
I'm sorry, I'm trying to explain this to you guys in the best way possible for everybody to understand. But yeah, right now I'm about to wash my hair in my dad's bathroom in the shower. Yes, I am. And uh, after that, so we'll get into all of the things. So if I can shut up and get to it, I've been talking for five minutes, but that's okay. I'm also, like I said, I'm doing laundry, so the first load is already in. Once I get out the shower, I'm gonna put the second load in, and by the way, better with like, I'm doing so many things at once. Oh, also, I'm filming Tipsy Talk today. I know y'all are like, how are you going to be doing all this? Don't worry about it. Just know it's going to get done. I'm going to show y'all. Um, Jade is doing Tipsy Talk with me today. If you haven't subscribed already, I have a podcast channel that I will link up here. And it is certainly to remember. I am horrible at linking <laughs> my other uh, other videos on other people's pages on my uh the podcast specifically, I haven't promoted it very well on this channel, so I need to do better with that. I do promote it heavy on Instagram, though, like heavy, 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 heavy. Instagram has become like where I'm at majority of the time because I'm trying to get all of my platforms to hit 5K this year. 5K, I feel like, is obtainable. On um, my Instagram is my largest platform. My Instagram is my largest platform, and I skipped this part, but I have management. Um, for my Instagram, not for YouTube. I do my own thing. But for Instagram, I'm with DNG Influencers. So basically, they pitch me to brands. They uh, do like a overall synopsis of my um, page. Tell me what I need to do more, what I need to do less of. And so that's how that works. Um, but my most recent video that I put on Reels is at 3900 views which is pretty good because I have 3,507 followers on Instagram we need to get that to 5k by the end of the year and by the time I blink it'll be May already so we need to get the ball rolling okay reels is how people are growing the fastest but people say that but I feel like people watch the reels and be like oh okay like for me example from a viewer standpoint I know I'm ranting but we got to have this kind of conversation girl from a viewer standpoint Sometimes I won't follow. I'll be like, I'll go down the reel and be like, oh, okay, yeah, double tap and scroll, right? Not, what makes me go back and follow is me seeing that person more than once. I'm like, okay, I'm being kind of a creep. My mom is this girl's life, but I don't like her content. I mean, I don't follow her, but I like her content. That's weird. So then I start following her. So for me, that tells me I need to be posting more. They need to see my face more and I need to be tagging everybody and I just need to be seen. Like the, if you're... If I do a video with Dove, Shea Moisture, something like that, other people who follow those companies will see me more often. Like, oh, this is the same girl. I might as well follow her, right? She ain't her persistent, her bad. Boom. You know, that's what makes me follow. So that's what I'm trying to do. Okay. Because at this point, we need to break the trends that we're doing and do what actually works. When I did the this this video, this I did a collaboration with the brand. 18,000, 18,000 views, 207 likes, 34 comments, 38 shares. That's great engagement for somebody who only has 3.5K, right? And then that makes other people say, well, who is this girl? Why would this brand post them? Because the brand has 100K on Instagram and I have 3K. Why would they want to work with me? How do I get to work with them? Yada, yada, yada. So that is why I'm like, okay, let me talk more, you know? And like, y'all need to see my personality. Like, I'm not just a person who stands here and takes pictures and bada 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 boom. You know, I'm not a model per se, but I want to be an influencer. So I need to talk to influence. You know what I'm saying? Uh, there are some creators who don't speak at all, right? They just open a product and it's ASMR and people love it. That's their thing. That's what they do. We have people who are mukbang channels. They don't even have to sell anything. Like, they are the entertainment and that's what they do. That's great. I feel like my niche is fashion, lifestyle, or travel, right? And wellness here and there, but I feel like that fits into lifestyle. So I try to talk more and bring y'all behind the scenes. So that's why I said, let me just start a vlog, right? And also I need to start a reel or a TikTok. So what I do is, let's start with settings, right? I know I'm still talking, but all of this matters. If you are searching for this video, I assume that you're a micro influencer or just want to know what goes on behind the scenes for people like me who get to work with brands and get stuff. Um, when I am in, when you go to settings and go to camera, right? 
up top where it says record video, I have mine set for 4K at 30 FPS. And I just feel like that is clear enough because I also export a 4K. So it's like, okay, it's clear. And I always use the back camera. I try to. So when I am using the back camera and y'all see me do like these mini vlogs and stuff, I'm using the back camera, but it's at 0.5. That way it gives me a wider lens. Like here is, let me try to get closer. Okay, here is one time zoom in and here is 0.5. You know, you get more. You can even see me and I'm not even in the frame. Sorry, y'all. Let me go back to video. Right here, I'm not in the frame at all. And here you're getting my whole ear, neck, everything, okay? So that's how I hold it here. And I be walking and talking and I'm like, ah! Because I know for a fact that I'm in this frame, okay? So that's how I get it done, and that's how I do it, okay? So I'm just going to start the TikTok, as you guys can see how it goes. Okay, so in my head, when I film, I think about what I was going to say. So originally, when I just held this up, I was going to say... Hey y'all, like I was gonna speak, but I'm gonna do a voiceover. So I was gonna say, right here, I'm gonna say, shake your dress, shake your dress, shake your dress. And now I'm gonna like move on, right? But I need to say something to get sh people, I say you, but y'all are watching me anyway, to get people to want to continue to watch the video. Like, what, shake your dress, girls, those, those are not dreads. Like, what are you talking about? Oh, okay, this girl has a personality. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Right? Moving on. All right, so. Hold on, y'all. Being a girlfriend. So now that I've done shimmer dabbing dabbing, I can take a shower. So I'll be right back. <laughs> Only been a few hours, but it felt like days. Only been days, but it felt like months. Only gone for a year, only go like once. Life moves fast when you do what you want. I guess I'm doing what I want. Okay, y'all, so I'm out of the shower now. My towel keeps falling because it's abnormally big, okay? But I have my dad's robe on now. So it's giving spa, it's giving hotel, it's giving black robe and luxury, you know what I'm saying? So how I see it, I'm going to act like I, well, I did just get out of the shower, but I'm going to act like I am just now really getting out of the shower, holding the towel, open the door, and stretch, and then come and sit, show the product, come over here on the, sit on the side of the tub and lotion my leg and then go into more detail about the product and then about to be about what we done. Luxurious. It's giving. I'm not English. Y'all hear my boyfriend on the uh, phone? This is what I have to deal with. <laughs> Caught in 4K. Yeah, the towel won't fall. Hey baby, I did not bring my iPad, so I'll call you back once I'm done. Uh, I did not bring my iPad, so I'm gonna call you back once I'm done. Okay, uh, okay, adios, adios. Escuche, escuche. Love you. Love you too. Bye. <laughs> How you come back from Mexico and talk in Spanish? Ridiculous. Anyways, okay, here we go. So I have my tripod here, as y'all can tell. This is the tripod I use. It's old as shit from Walmart. Excuse my language, but not really because this is just how I talk, okay? So let me counter y'all so you can see, child. Focus on my face. Get my face. Pick my face up. This camera, boy, I tell you. All right. Here we are. Oh, do not fall, y'all. I'm gonna put y'all here. Okay. Put this here. Make sure my cool cat ain't showing. Yeah, man. Okay. Perfect. Now we're going to move this over here. 
where the tub is. Well, actually, I'm going to stand this on the floor. Oh, see how the towel falling off? Can't make this up. this because the towel is going to fall. It's going to mess up my stuff. I need to actually go get the product out of my freaking suitcase that I brought. I knew I had one of the legs not fully extended. As I was talking to my boyfriend, I would call him because I got out the shower and I saw that this company that I found accepted my application. And so... I am eligible to work with them. I'm getting some more detail about it in a second, but why does it look so yellow right here? Can we fix that? There we go. Disclosure, bring the exposure all the way up. Okay, so this is how my view is looking. And I feel like it's real estate. It's giving the girls what needs to be it. Oh my God. Greetings and salutations. What's up, boy? What's up? Okay, that was a quick intermission. My uncle called me. I'm still holding my head crazy. Don't judge me, judge your mama. So here's the product. It's from On Ingredients is the name, which I think is a cute. On Ingredients is cute, like ingredients, but on, I think that's so cute. Anyways, so they reached out to me. I know people are gonna ask me like, how do you get brand deals? Sometimes the company will reach out to you. Sometimes you'll reach out to the company. Bada bing, bada boom. So I'm just going to hold the product in my hand. I did already film when I first got the product when it was full, but all I have to do is tilt the thing over and it'll coat it up. Um, when I first got the product, I did a video, but I had my nails done. Right now, I don't have my nails done, so I didn't want to import that footage. And it's like, okay, your nails are done in the close-ups, but they're not done when you're applying the product. That's weird. So yeah, I'm in between styles right now. So again, don't judge me. Judge your mama. So we are going to bring the depth all the way up to about a nine. That's your F on your, if you have an iPhone, that's the little F in the corner that determines how blurry it is. And I brought my exposure also all the way up so that it's very white in here because it can give a yellow cast. So I'm just going to click this and move the product into the frame. Hello, it's not tracking it at all. Okay, out, in. So let's do it again because the product was starting to drip down. And I wanna do one where I actually pour it in my hand. <coughs> so bring this. Why is it not coming out? I've used this. This is what y'all don't see. All the bloopers that get cut out, y'all just see the end result. You're like, oh, that's easy to do. Yeah, okay. Now I'm going to set y'all up so you can see me do this. Let me flip this. I'm going to actually put y'all right here. Apply the lotion onto my leg, right? So I'm going to be sitting here. Remove this. Now, if that if I don't like that, I still have the other leg to do. But all the facts about the product. I'm gonna add it in the caption instead of. Oh, I actually love everything about it. If I just flash y'all the entire time I was talking, but I'm going to do the other leg off camera and then I'm just going to hold both legs up in front of the window. Y'all gonna be like, what? Just, just follow me, follow me, okay? Let me lotion my other leg and then I'll show y'all. 
Okay, so here's my view now. I opened the window. I moved the product right there in the corner, right? So you can see the words are in focus. I'm going to put my legs right there up on the wall for the ending shot about being super smooth. So I'm going to lay my back down in the tub and lift my legs up. So hopefully this comes out right because I'm the only one here. And yeah, I don't have any help. So I'm going to put y'all... Actually, I'm going to just show y'all the end result because... um. I don't have anything on under this robe and I don't want to flash y'all. So be right. Okay. My vision came to life. I did two takes. I totally forgot about my tattoo right there. I did two takes, one rubbing the leg and then I swapped over to the other leg in front, but a little bit higher because I couldn't tell from where I was laying where the, the legs would cut off. So I'm going to kind of zoom in some. Y'all will see when I edit it. I'm going to edit it now so that I can... Go ahead and get it off of my phone. So now I'm just stopping to get food. My laundry is done. Um, my wig is not on, as y'all can see, that's why I put my bonnet on. Because I was debating, do I want to go to the beauty spa store or not, since I'm already over here. And then I was like, should I go to the nail salon? And then I was just like, let me actually just not spend any money. Because, like, if I can't spend it three times, I shouldn't be spending it at all. That's what I'm trying to teach myself. But I spoil myself to the extreme. So, I'm trying to get it under control. Because once I get some money, I'll be like, okay, girl, you got money and it's going to come back because you're getting paid your bonus check here and this and that. You really, you ain't spending no money. Like, girl, my ass be going crazy for me. Um, so, yeah, I'm just getting my sister and I some food. When we get home, I'm going to put my wig on. I couldn't do what I needed to do at my dad's house in regards to my hair because um, he only had one hairbrush there and it was his girlfriend's and she is YT. So, I couldn't... Um, use anything that she had um so i am going to lay my hair down i don't know how to cornrow blame my mama for that i don't know how to cornrow so i'm just going to lay my hair flat flat iron it and put it under the wig cap i might not even need to flat iron it because once i put the wig cap on my hair cooperates so i need a ponytail holder though and i need a comb all that stuff okay and so then I'm going to slap my glue this wig on and do my makeup and then film Tipsy Talk. So like I said, I'm just grabbing some chicken for my sister and I because I need to eat before we start drinking for this episode. But we are going out to eat for dinner. So yeah. Did y'all know that Bojangles has bowberry cookies? I've never even had the bowberry biscuits before because I'm not a bread. I'm not a fan of bread. Okay, I do like blueberry muffins, but like if I see something and it's like, I don't know. I'm just not a fan of bread. I don't know. So, but I saw that they have blueberry cookies. So I got one for me and one for my sister to see if we like it. But yeah, I'm about to get the food and I'll see y'all when we get back to the crib. Wait, oh my God. Oh my God. My mouth is watering. Oh my Goodness gracious. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh my God. She fell hard as hell. I believe you. Oh Street, so I'm like, what should I do? All right, vlog. Jade is here, and so this is what happens behind the scenes of a tipsy talk. The guests arrive, we have regular conversation. I set everything up, I let them know when to do the dance during the intro because that's always the awkward part, and then we just jump right into it. So we started off with a drink, and then da da da. After Let's that happens, I have to then edit all the footage. Now, each episode is over an hour. So by the time I cut it down, it's still over an hour because I don't cut the I don't cut the podcast. It pretty much pretty much nothing gets cut until my main camera chops the video. Sometimes my main camera will chop the video that's 
the main camera for the guest, like the camera that's on the actual guest, it will stop after it hits an hour. So it'll do 30 minutes, 30 minutes, and stop. Oh, no. Yeah. So then I have to get up and hit record again. No. I have to get up and hit record again. And then after that point, I have to sync the videos back up after I finish. And that's the only part of every podcast episode that I edit out. Just that brief intermission where I get up and hit the button and bring the conversation back. <laughs> Literally. Okay, do I sit here? Yeah. Why are you in here, badness? You know you can't be in here. She's not in the bed. Look at her. She's back. She done calm down. She's back. Okay. I'm ready. Let's Girl, I'm not ready. What? <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready for my close-up. What questions you gonna be asking me? Because we're having a conversation. This is not an interview. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe like, be, I'm thinking it's more so like you know how Shannon Sharp be asking. Hell no. <laughs> you know, you to go Once this has died, mid episode. What? And what did you have to do? Re-record? I didn't notice it until I went to edit the video. Yep. So how did you work around that? It sounded like this. Echo, echo. That's how it sounded. Ada, hello. I, I am Chase. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Definitely think we should go to New York. We need to go to New York during Fashion Week. When is Fashion Week though? Hold on, I gotta look it up. We gotta look, we have so much I think we should go to New York though for like a weekend, for like three days, four days. But I wanna do Fashion Week. And now we know I can fly Southwest because I'll have two carry-offs when you worry about it. Get food. I was gonna say lunch, but it's dinner now. We're going to get dinner tonight. I have to pee now. From the line. Okay, so we're just gonna end the video here. We have a lot to <laughs> here. We have a lot to research after. No, 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 no. <laughs> Listen, we just drank a whole bottle of wine. I feel, I like have nothing, to I feel nothing but the urge to research these trips. Thanks. So yeah. Also, my wig is glueless. Cute, right? And it's nice. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised you didn't want it though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to be dripping and shit. The weather. Yo, it's the weather. It be know. wet. I'm like, I'm just going out with Jay. I already have a man. Please don't talk to me. Okay. Again, not approachable. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, y'all. Let me too. Oh, let me finish this. Please. So, put out your all on me. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next Tuesday Talk. Bye. Bye. All right, y'all. That was a minute. I mean, a minute. How long was it? An hour and 14 minutes. Hey, y'all. So, it's the next day. We are having Sunday Fun Day at Corey's house today starting at 4. So, before then, we need to eat something. So, we're going to have a part two of Mexico. And we need to go to the liquor store. But that's not what I cut the vlog on for because this is a behind the scenes of an influencer. Um, so um, there is a challenge going around for Kava. My wife said, let's go to Kava. And I was like, oh my God, good. Because I need to film that video before April 21st. And so what I want to do, the, the, the challenge is to make your own bowl. And if you win, you get $5,000 in credit at Kava and then you get um, your name on their menu. And so it'll say Serena's Bowl if I'm checked. If I'm, if I'm not checked, if I am picked. So right now I'm putting my wig on because clearly I'll be in the video. This is how I see the video in my head, right? It's for TikTok. So I'm gonna be walking into Kava. Babe, you hear this? Cause I need your help. Okay, so I'm gonna be walking into Kava. I'm gonna turn around in front of the Kava door and be like, we're at my favorite place and I'm going to show y'all how to make the best cover bowl. I don't make the rules, but mine is the best, right? And then it's going to cut to me already with the bowl and I'm going to say, what's all included in it? And then I'm going to say, but you could also order it. But as I'm talking about what's in it and I'm holding it, I'm going to cut the video to them actually building it, right? I know it sounds like a lot in my head, but when you, when I, when I do it, it's very, it's very quick, babe, you got to keep up with me. Did that sound like a lot for you? Uh, I'm finished. Like, no. 
He's paying me no attention. That's what he's about to say. I am uh, Mr. Lincoln Ball. We get it together. Well, you need to get it together, uh, film man, because I need you to film me. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Now he got me. So, I say, like, should I bring a mic or what? Because... I need y'all to hear me. I need y'all to know I mean business. I was looking at all the other videos and people are just doing a little, you know, a little montage, taking a screenshot of the thing and putting it. No, I'm coming big. It said be super creative. Okay? And that is one thing I know how to do. Be creative. Feta is cheese. You know that pasta that I made with the tomatoes? And it had the crumbled feta inside of it, but I melted it down. That's feta. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. This is so good. It's, do you like chickpeas? I can eat it. It's just smush chickpeas. Oh, okay. I love cool <laughs> Okay, so here's my look. I'm going to put a jacket on because it's 62 degrees outside. No, no, anything under 70, I'm cold. Um, first world problems. So, yeah. I'm going to go film there, go to a liquor store. This is Smudge by K. Nicole, Smudge Cosmetics, aka Corey. All right. She's ready. I stopped her on and she's ready to go. All right, y'all, so I might be a little biased, but I feel like I have the best kava bowl recipe. So I'm going to take y'all with me and we're going to, you know, put y'all on game on how to do it. Okay, y'all, get ready to screenshot. So you can go in there and just ask for the Harissa avocado bowl, but you need to make sure you say no cucumbers and no hot Harissa vinaigrette. And you can change to the dressings and tahini that I added in the screenshot. And most importantly, let me know how it is. Hey, y'all, so it's the next day. And as you can see behind me, we have some packages we need to unbox. So that's what we're going to be doing. I'm about to take this into my filming room, though. I got right here on my actual tripod. I got the little camera on it. All right, so yeah, let's open this stuff up. First things first, I'm done with it. Okay. So, boom, bow. That's how you fix that. So, first things first, I got the Bottega dupes, those earrings that everybody has that look like teardrops. My dog is right here. She's like, what? We just filmed some content. Come soon. You want to see? Oh, I was on the gram. We just filmed some content. Checking for bombs. The sacrifice she's willing to make. You like them? Are they pretty? Hey. Over here. You want to be up here. Are they pretty? So we got silver and gold. Here's how they look. Mm -hmm. You didn't get the flower one? No. I don't need the flower ones until we go out of town for Houston. So. What? This it's supposed to be a sponsorship from a brand. Well, not supposed to be. That's what it is. This is a lumbar support. It's actually, the content is actually due in two days. So I'm going to have to film it today. Gosh, why was that so difficult? Okay. It sits in the chair and basically gives you lumbar support. So how I'm gonna film it is, I'm just gonna be like, I'm gonna set the tripod up from here and I'm gonna be like typing on my computer, working from home, showing all the angles of me working. And then I'm gonna show like how my back starts hurting. I try to put regular pillows and I'm gonna throw the old pillow. 
put this there and show how I feel better, how I stick, okay? So that's the that's the plan. So let's get it. Let's go. I need to look like something and not look like this. Like actually look like I put forth into effort for how I work from home. This light above my stove is green. Why? Why? Who would want a green light? Like who does that? I don't understand. this as an unboxing for content but I don't feel like it anymore so I'm not gonna do it and I'm not gonna stress myself out about it I'm gonna eat my dinner now it's coming with things that I should have recorded it <laughs> oh wait they got stuff ready <laughs> should I record it the unboxing. Were you not just doing it? No, I'm vlogging for YouTube, but I'm not filming an unboxing. All right, can you but get my? That's cute. So you. Yeah. Were, can you get my tripod out of the filming room, please? Get back together. Yep. How would they know? Not watching the vlog. Yeah. If they real. Or y'all like it's not. It's not, it's not rocket science. It's not something that you can't do. If you want to do it, you can do it too. Woo! Hey y'all, so today I am at Harlem Zen and I'm getting my first ever laser hair removal. So we're going to do bikini as well as armpits. And so I'm just going to take you all on this journey, a little bit of behind the scenes of what goes on if you are looking into getting laser hair removal or if you're just interested in any kind of treatment, we want to give y'all first timers who might be a little nervous such as myself don't get it twisted girl i am nervous but you know it's time to put my big girl panties on well take them off so that i can you know get into a different level of high maintenance but low maintenance at the same time because you are doing this only once every four weeks and so you get to see the results and it's less that you'll have to do to keep up with yourself but it is like a procedure so yeah, let y'all see how it goes, and yeah, stay tuned. Okay. <laughs> so lasering is something that you have to kind of do repeatedly to see like the most effective results. Mm -hmm. um, however, you will see some reduction within your first service, so that's exciting. Yeah. Um, how often are you shaving now? Probably once a month. Once a month? Okay. I don't grow too heavy oh, in the first place. Yeah, so there it is. Like, yeah. It'll probably knock it out pretty quickly mm -hmm. then um, if you don't have a lot of mixed hair follicles. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm just wipe your skin clean. Okay. We have to have it free of any... I didn't put the yarn on. Oh, okay. <laughs> you got prep for me. <laughs> Shots. I'm just gonna make sure you're nice and comfortable, okay? Um, 
I'll do about three test shots, and I want you to just see how you feel. Okay? <laughs> is it like a pinch? It is going to be some air pressure that comes out, and then the heat of the laser. So you'll feel. So there is a um, when there is a laser. I mean, um, <laughs> there is, I can't even talk. <laughs> I got nervous. <laughs> okay. There is wind that comes with. Yeah. yeah. I'm actually doing it here so you can hear and see. Okay. And so, then the heat. Yeah, and then there's the heat. Okay. <laughs> nice. I'm going to start right down here, okay? Help the First test shot. Second. No, I only feel the, the wind. You only feel the air? Yes. Okay, let me see what we're doing down here. Okay. I only feel the wind. Okay. <laughs> Very good. So you're at a pretty good level right now. Um okay. let's just stay there. We don't yeah. have to yeah. <laughs> We don't have to go all okay. out, okay? Yeah, your hairs are singeing, so you'll smell a little burning yeah, hair. I, I smell it. You smell it already? It. Yeah. I only, I only feel the wind. Okay. So it's like painless for you right yeah. now. Awesome. Now, I know you say you don't grow a lot, but you may feel it a little bit more in the middle area. Okay. So when we get there, let me know how you feel, okay? Mm, okay, I felt you that. You felt that one a little bit more? Yeah, we get into it. It's okay. Yeah, but we're all um, already in the middle. Sorry. Right. You okay? I feel it though. Okay. Let me have you put your arm like a little bit flat. There we go. Yeah, but um, it goes by pretty quickly, so. Yeah, I feel yeah, I feel that one. Okay. <laughs> That's that middle pit area. So I'm gonna get through that. This is a little bit above the middle area, but you can still feel a bit. And it's tolerable. It's like a rubber band almost. Yeah, that's what most people say, like a little rubber band mm -hmm. feeling. It's not to the screaming point, I'm sure, around your lips area. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And we're done with this arm. Great. Very good. Oh, you did that. Yeah. <laughs> you did that very well. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to let that middle area so. Yeah, so you can kind of rice for it a little bit middle. more. Yeah. yeah. But the bottom is just like air. Yeah. And it goes out pretty quickly. Yeah. If you can get through it. Now, okay. what about after the After the treatment? So, so there's not special? much, yeah, there's not much downtime. Um, you just want to be gentle on your underarm, so like no extreme exfoliation in like within the next week or so. Um, you can, if you do exfoliate weekly, you can start that back within another week. Why could you use a loofah? Okay. So should I not use a loofah? Oh no, you can still use a, that's, that's gentle enough. I'm talking about like a scrub or yeah, a brush. Right. Mm -hmm. treatment that the little shadow you do have it will lighten the hairs are no longer yes so after a certain amount of session it'll be gone completely or i'll have to come like every six months yeah so laser is a permanent reduction so it's going to reduce the hair growth um drastically over time uh you may see that hair starts to grow back in like months after your treatment or even years, but your skin is just trying to, it's gonna always try to regenerate hair, but it's never gonna be like how you were before. Yeah. Um, like, so your once a month shaves are gonna now go down to like, <laughs> yeah, or maybe like once every three oh, wow. to six months. <laughs> there's just nothing that's happening anymore. Very good. Awesome job. <laughs> you are done. I'm going to put a little cream on your skin a bit. What you want to do? Just a little bit. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah.
to the bikini line area. Okay. Not too much. Gonna wipe it, not too much. <laughs> I'm just going to wipe it clean like I did the underarms. Okay. Yeah, so the bikini is going to just be top rows here, about two to three finger lengths here, two to three finger lengths here on the uh, sides, and then on the other side. Okay. That's it. All right. Okay. <laughs> I think you can do it. You <laughs> Literally do it. what shows in the bikini. Yeah. Like, okay. so outside of your panty line. Yeah. You the know? triangle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right now. Whew, okay. I'm gonna do some more test shots because okay. every area is so different. So here's my first test. Nothing. Nothing. Second test. Mm, so a little bit more. <laughs> and then this is gonna be the part of the large. But no. I'm not gonna go there. Like, yeah, no. Okay. No. But I just want to show you that's. Yeah. If I was trying to do, yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Okay. Well, what about on um, right here? You wanna do that one down there? You bracing mm -hmm. for it. You like you. I don't like it. Don't I don't like, like it. it. Mm -mm. Let's yeah. not. <laughs> Let's not do uh -uh. this. I don't like it. Okay. This this was okay. Okay. But this was a no, and this was a no. So we might as well just leave it. Like. Oh, oh we not doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Nope, nope. We'll just cut this part out. Just cut, just cut the whole thing. Yeah. Out. Uh -uh. Okay. I don't like it. I don't You're like it. All right, y'all. So I just finished with my underarms <laughs> um we tested out the brazil everybody's tolerance is different so don't base it on me okay i've never had a wax i've never had a laser i've never i've only shaved my entire life my bikini area brazilian um my armpits have only ever known a razor okay and so um this was a different experience for my body, so I had to work my way up. Oh, the sun, too much sun. I had to work my way up to it. So as I was saying, I had to work myself up to um, the point where I can get the other body parts done. Now that was tolerable to the point where I feel like I should get my legs lasered. I feel like my legs and my armpits would be the easiest to tolerate it doesn't i can't really explain it it's like a shock to your body literally it's a laser so you feel the cool air first and she's right there like brie was perfect perfect personality perfect patience level and i feel like we mesh very well personality wise so that also made it more comfortable for me so you feel the cold air first then there's a zap right 
but in some places of your skin there is more meat on it so you don't really feel anything when there's bone right behind it is mostly when you start to feel that zap rather than just the cool air so when we we're on the bottom part of my armpit nothing all i felt was air it just felt like cold air was just going on around right and on the top as well but when we got to that middle part where your deodorant needs to be applied to most where the sweat glands are that is when i was like okay i feel it but it's not intolerable but hurry up and get it done type of thing and armpits probably take about 10 minutes i could have did my armpits I, should, I could have got that service on my lunch break. And my lunch break is only 30 minutes. So let's talk about it. Super fast, super professional, super clean. It's super cozy in there. I love it. Okay, so if you're in the Atlanta area, um, this is off of Memorial. Um, and it's called Harlem Zen. I'll leave all their information down below in the description box. And yeah, I am a happy camper. Yes, I am. <laughs> and uh, we, when we tried the Brazilian... Um, the bone part of it, I could feel that it, like, the feeling is how a laser looks, like, a sh that's how it looked. Like, have you ever seen a taser? You could see the voltage. It felt like a voltage was just going straight down. Now, when we did the top part, like, right above, like, what would show at the top of a bikini fine perfectly fine and like i said i think it's just depending on how much meat you have <laughs> um my vagina is can i say vagina on youtube my vagina like i said is used to razors so it was very shocked as you guys seen when i said oh right the first one i was like mm, that's fine but the second shock, like she does test shots in each area so you know what to expect instead of just going straight in and you're just like, mm, you know, I feel like one day I'll be, I'll have the tolerance to do it. Let's just talk. Let's just say, let's just say. But anyways, I came all the way here to say, post your content. You never know who's looking. You never know what kind of um, opportunities that you will get. All of that. Even so, I've been looking into laser for a very long time and when you follow and you network with people, you might find places that will work with you and take you serious as a content creator. So that's the point that I wanted to make by adding this into this video because you never know what kind of opportunities you will get. You don't. So this is like a barter kind of situation. I come to get my service every four weeks and I get my service complimentary. I'm not getting paid to leave a positive review. I'm not getting paid to... Um, leave a negative review. I'm not getting paid to do anything that I don't want to do. Um, so this is my honest opinion with y'all as a first timer, as a consumer to let you all know how I feel and promote the place if I choose to, right? And that is what I would like to do. So that is why we have a partnership. Um, this was my first time here. This is my first experience. This is my real thoughts, okay? And so... That's why I wanted to show y'all the real raw and uncut reactions that I was having. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!